Today, we're taking a closer look at animal migration, a mysterious and remarkable process that compelled some animals to travel to distant breeding grounds, with no map or leader to guide them, and in some cases, despite never having made the trip before. It's a good reminder of an idea so important to mindfulness, impermanence. That is that everything is changing in our minds, our bodies, and the world around us. There are more than 200 shorebird species in the world. All of them are defined by their thin legs, which they use for standing in water, mud, or wet sand. Their pointy bills, which come in handy for foraging, and their long wings, which allow them to fly incredibly long distances without stopping. One such bird is the familiar plover. In March and April, sensing the need to breed, some plovers begin their flight northward from Argentina. Traveling across the Amazon, they stop briefly along the Gulf of Mexico. From there, they fly over farming country in the middle of the United States, before finally arriving in their Arctic breeding grounds in May and June. There, they mate, lay their eggs, and care for their fledglings. The young are given some lessons on feeding and avoiding predators. Then the parents leave them behind and make their way back to South America. One of these plover species does something peculiar though. They take a different route back. The American golden plover, a gold and brown flecked bird with striking black face, chest and belly and bright white stripe bordering the black, flies east to the eastern coast of the United States. Then this relatively small creature makes one of the longest flights in the birding world, a roughly 2,500 mile non-stop flight over the Atlantic Ocean back to Argentina, Uruguay and neighboring countries. Meanwhile, back in the Arctic, as the summer is drawing to a close, the juvenile plover offspring have lost their down and have grown their first set of flight feathers. They are ready to leave for the same wintering spot as their parents. But instead of taking the eastern trip, the American golden plovers fly the reverse route that their parents took up to the Arctic, traversing the American heartland to the Gulf Coast, then over the Amazon and back to eastern South America. Someday, these newbies will take the more eastern route back south over the ocean. But for now, they're content to use the longer daylight of the spring and summer season in South America to forage for food, preparing to make the trip back to the Arctic when they again receive the biological call to breed. So as you go about your day, consider the shorebird's incredible migration. It may seem at times like you're thousands of miles from where you want to be, but step back for a moment and maybe you'll see you're actually just on a long journey home.